start the video over while I was shuffling. Um, but welcome back to my channel, um, Amanda's Tarot and Spells. If you are a new subscriber, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, share the video, hit the notification bell. Also, um, don't forget about my $100 giveaway that I'm doing. I'll be announcing that where April 30th. And if you want to be a part of that, all you have to do to qualify is put your cash app in the comments and also subscribe to my channel. And like I said, leave a comment. Leave a comment with your cash app. And I'll randomly pick a winner on October 30th. So these cards are already shuffled because like I said, I just have to stop the video and start it over. Um, I'm using this deck and my other tarot deck, my original tarot deck. I'll just go ahead and get started. Oh, remember there is no, um, I'm a little confused because like I said, I keep saying this, but I had to keep restarting the video. I'm about to restart the video now. No, I'm going to just keep going. <laughs> okay, so um, remember there is no time and gender and tarot. So switch the roles as you see fit. There is no gender in tarot, so switch the roles as you see fit. If the message does not resonate with you, then the message is not for you. Do not force it to fit. <clears throat> Leave the message for someone else. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, Spirit and Spirit Guys, for being here with us. And everybody else and Spirit Guys for being here with us. We only welcome positive energy. We only welcome accurate messages. All negativity, any negative spirits, any negativity at all are blocked from my readings and my channel. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, please give me a card for the collective. Spirit, please give me a card for the collective. Spirit, please give me a card for the collective. The divine is mine only. Disregarding my feelings. I ended it with my car my karmic. Spirit, give me another card for the collective, please. Spirit, give me another card for the collective, please. Spirit, give me another card for the collective, please. Spirit, give me another card for the collective, please. I'll take this one. Yes, it's too late. Okay. So you have the divine is mine only. Disregarding my feelings, I ended it with my karmic, and yes, it's too late. So you have a, div a divine masculine <clears throat> who views you as only his. He doesn't want to see you when nobody else is going to pick it up from that card. He definitely doesn't want to see you when nobody else. I'm picking up also that you guys are in a separation because he may disregarded your feelings about something. He may repeatedly disregarded your feelings about things. He may have been doing things to hurt you. I'm hearing purposely hurt you. And then when you complained about it, he disregarded it like it was nothing. And he, this is a third party situation. He has a karmic. He's trying to tell you his message to you is that he ended it with his karmic. But your message to him is, yes, it's too late. So I think it's too late for this masculine to come back because he's done too much. This could be a twin flame situation. This is definitely some type of soul tie situation or soulmate situation because he has, you have, um, my soul feels your soul. So he feels, he still feels connected to you. He wants to come back with you. I'm hearing he's obsessed. Spirit, give me another card, please. Not that many, please. Spirit, give me that card. I'll take one. You and me forever. 
yeah right along with my soul feels yours like this person feels very still much attached to you and definitely wants to come back i could say he honestly if he comes to you i feel like he's going to come to you with a message so be expecting like a text or a phone call or something he's going to come to you and tell you that he ended it with this karmic and i don't think that you're i don't i'm not getting that you feel the same way because the yes it's too late card i'm picking up your energy with that i'm feeling like you may have moved on frustrated with sex so i'm also picking up that him and this karmic had a problem with it and it's right up under the karmic frustrated with sex this he's not getting what he wants from this karmic sexually there's like no sexual chemistry between them two and it's frustrating him you're my one and only yeah he's obsessed I know you're watching me so whoever this karmic is they could be spying on you they're watching you definitely through whatever social media you have whether it's snapchat facebook twitter blah 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 all those social medias he's definitely watching you he could be riding by your house he's i'm getting that he's talking to friends he may be talking to your friends trying to get information about you trying to find out what you're doing because like i said i feel like you guys are in a separation he's done broke up with this karmic and he's trying to come back to you you have karma here he's receiving karma for what he did to you so and that's right up under the line with um disregarding my feelings so i'm getting from this karma card and disregarding my feelings like he really must have been acting like an ass and he had a third party too so he feels like he's getting his karma by you saying yes it's too late anyway for him to come back because he wants to come back because he still feels this connection with you my soul still feels yours you and me forever you're my one and only and then the divine is only mine like he's i'm picking up jealousy from that card he don't want to see you with nobody else and you may have be with somebody else you may have moved on another card filled in the same exact spot hold on okay time will tell all what i'm getting from this card time will tell all is i'm picking up he doesn't believe that it's too late for him even if you tell him, that's not going to stop him from trying to get you back. I'm hearing in my head, he may pop up at your house, pop up somewhere where you are, text you or call you and try to get back with you. And you're going to be like, no, it's too late. And he's going to be like, time will tell because I don't believe you. I believe you still want me. It's kind of arrogant. He's, this is somebody who's arrogant. Spirit, give me another card, please. Legal court stress. Um, <clears throat> he could be going through something with this karmic. This karmic could be somebody who's like his baby mama, who's taking him to court for some type of custody or child support or something, and it's stressing him out. He's really turning his back on her. He doesn't like this situation with her. But he should have thought about that before he put you in a third party. He should have thought about that. Spirit, give me another card. We're going to overlap some cards because I want to keep going. Yeah, sexual chemistry. Right on top of the divine is mine. So you, like I said, he's having sexual frustrations with this karmic because the sexual chemistry is not there for them two. It's there for you two. It's there for the divine masculine and the divine feminine. The sexual chemistry is there for you two. He's having a hard time. I'm hearing it. And he's having a hard time getting it up with her. Spirit, give me another card, please. This person could have ghosted you right on top of disregarding my feelings. He could have ghosted you. 
he could have ghosted you. You weren't even expecting that this one came out. Cleanse. You need to cleanse yourself of his energy. Fake happiness. What I'm getting from cleansing and fake happiness, you need to cleanse yourself from this energy because none of these cards I'm picking up that you want to get back with this person. But I'm picking up that they're obsessed with you. They're going to try to do anything to get you back. And they're toxic. So what I'm getting from this cleansing card is you need to cleanse yourself from this person. Don't text them. Don't play with them. Like don't don't feed into their bullshit. And fake happiness, the relationship. When he was disregarding your feelings and ghosted you, he had fake happiness. He thought that his baby mama or whoever this was, this whoever this karmic is, he thought that he was going to have wish fulfillment with her. And he probably had karma with her. I'm picking up he had karma with her and all the things that he did to you and put you through, she put him through. And he was trying to probably... You probably said, what I'm picking up from more disregarding my feelings, you probably said something along the lines of um, how it hurt that he's cheating on you, how he ghosted you, because you probably had some type of communication with him, and he probably tried to fake happy. And the grass really was not greener on the other side. It was fake. He knew it. She knew it. They know they were not getting along. They were having arguments, probably arguing over you. Spirit, give me one more card. I don't know how to express my love for you. So he's saying he don't know how to express his love for you, for you right now. But what I'm picking up from that card is he's still plotting. He is plotting because he doesn't know how to do it right now. He's plotting to come in and express his love. But I still am picking up. I'm still picking up that you don't want him. You don't want him. He's And he feels like that's karma. I'll take this one. Two came out, so I'll take both. Toxic, right on top of ghosting and disregarding feelings. He's toxic, just like I said. He's toxic and arrogant. I keep hearing arrogant. Oh, I'll take this one. Yeah, I'm right up under fake happiness. You got the will of fortune. It was fake happiness with her, but with you, you was the will of fortune. <laughs> and right there, I didn't even look at that card. I didn't even look at that card yet. It says, you were a blessing. He looks at you as the will of fortune. He looks at you as the sun. I'm going to pull one more card. And the sun just fell out. See? The sun. And the magician right here, he's trying to manifest you back. He wants you back. He's not happy with this karmic. He is not happy with this karmic. It's toxic with her. Everything that he put you through, she's putting him through. Now he wants to come back to you. And plus, he's going through these little court situations of custody battles or child support or whatever it is that she's doing to put him in the courts because things did not work out with him. I'm getting she may have took child support out on him as a as a, as a bitter type thing. I hate to use the term, but bitter baby mama. So this is definitely some type of baby mama. And with the magician right here, he's definitely trying to manifest you back because he sees you as the sun. He sees you as the will of fortune. He thinks that you're a blessing to him. But you need to cleanse yourself because the only energy that I'm really picking up from your side is that you need to cleanse yourself and get away from this toxic man. And what's the other card? You feel like it's too late for y'all. You want something better. You know your worth. Okay, so that's all I have for that reading right there. Hopefully you enjoyed that message. Um, hopefully you took something from that message. And also hit the like button, the subscribe button if you watched the whole reading and you enjoyed this reading and the other content on my channel. Don't forget about my $100 giveaway that will be happening on April 30th. I'll be announcing the winner and all you have to do to qualify for that is subscribe to my channel. Like my videos and leave a comment in. Leave a comment in the comments with your cash app. You have a nice night. Thank you.